Good morning, kids! I don't think that just because I'm smiling and everything that I forgot everything that's going on. <laughs> Could you imagine me seriously starting a video like that? I'd like to talk to you today about women's hygiene products and the men who love them. Oh, I hear nature outside my door! Because I have my door open, look. Woo! That is my screen door. We've seen that before, right? It's just a screen door. How are you kids? Look at me trying to follow the camera. Wait, 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 I can't keep up. Oh, God, my freaking knee, I can't keep up. Nah, I'm only kidding. Now look at my bra strap showing up. Just so ghetto. Stop being ghetto. Cover it up. It's really nice outside today. There's a breeze. There's no sun. Thank goodness. I mean, don't just some days just like, you know, be, get out of here, son. You're just too much sun. Tell your father to come over here. <laughs> Guess I'm really feeling more relaxed now, huh? I think I'm getting old. I'm serious because no matter what time I go to bed, I'm up like six o'clock in the morning and I'm hungry. Maybe that's a test, you know, if I'm up really early, it's okay. As long as I'm not hungry for dinner by like nine in the morning. Yeah. Get, get me some chicken pot pie. You know, is that the blue plate special today? That shows that you're old. Uh... See, this shows that I'm old. I go from one thing to another. If I drop it and see a penny, pick it up. All the day will I have good luck? I mean, it was my penny. But if I dropped it unintentionally, and picked it up. Does that count? What if I had picked up that penny as see a penny pick it up all the day you have good luck? Do I get a second day on the same penny because I saw it and I picked it up? What if I drop it intentionally so that I can bend down and pick it up because I feel all that day I need good luck? Does that count? Well, does it? You know, it's so funny that now I feel comfortable because I know a lot of you who are out there who write to me and everything. And look, shoulders down. I'm really relaxed talking to you now because I know who I'm talking to. Not all of you, because remember Romper Room? I see Janie and Susie and Polly and Ted. I can't see all those kids in the back rows and the ones who are standing outside the room i i don't know who all of you are hmm. <laughs> okay we're getting really silly here today we i'm I, i'm including you in my silliness <laughs> that is silly and presumptuous too sydney cow <laughs> love my daughter so much did i show you what she gave me for mother's day hang on you gotta see this It tastes funny today. <laughs> Ready? Okay. This is what the Sidster sent me for Mommy's Day. It's a. It's a fire! It's a fur! It's a fur! I love the fact, first off, that she's all the way far away and she sent me a gift for mother's day it's not like she's right here she makes me breakfast in bed sticks a little card underneath the coffee cup you know between the scrambled eggs and, and the toast no she went online and oh man she asked me if she could use my amazon account because she wanted something quickly oh, that little dickens that was for me. So there's several. <laughs> Stop moving. <laughs> Vertigo. Ver I didn't realize it was for me, so she sent it to me. What I really like about this is the two things. The first, that she went out of her way to send it to me because she's not right here. And also, the second is that uh, I'm technology 
equipped. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I'm not technology challenged. And she knows that. Like, I, like I'm a current kind of mommy. I'm not saying I'm the cool mommy or anything like that, you know. I'm just um, current. And I like that my daughter knows that. You know, that like we text each other and stuff. Uh, that was something that my mother never did. My mother never even turned on a computer. And she thought that because she hadn't, that she was safe from any kind of internet fraudiola stuff, but she didn't realize that she wasn't. I could type in her name and everything comes up. Her address, her age, and probably like uh, what color panties she had on. If she wore panties, who knows? Maybe she was freaky. Sitting in front of my new blinds for you. Ta-da! Let, let me do the Carol Merrill. Do you remember Carol Merrill? This was her, her little gesture. This beautiful motorcycle. It's his and hers motorcycles for the newlywed and you, because that's what you need when you're a newlywed. This and hers motorcycles and good life insurance. Woo! Just relaxing. Yeah, I have a new place for my glasses. I've been putting them there or here. You know, here I like to put them here. It makes kids laugh. They look at me and they just... But I'm not doing it for that. This is really where I keep them. I think that they think it's some kind of a weird beard that I've grown. First off, a lady growing a beard. And second off, that is just freaking weird. That's a weird beard. Don't put them up here because then the sticky, the product from my hair gets on them. Or the grease if it's dirty. Dirty. Stop it. Anyway, so... Let's get on with this. First off, a lot of people are asking, aren't you getting ready to leave this town? I mean, it's getting so frigging hot. Yes, I am getting ready to leave. And as soon as everything, all my loose ends are tied up here, I will be leaving. Where are you going, Shell? I'm gonna leave here and I'm gonna head north to Reno. Cause Reno is beautiful. Have you been to that river up there? I don't know if it's a Truckee River or whatever the heck it's called. It's absolutely beautiful and a lot of fun up there. And along the way, gonna stop at some ghost towns. I would really like to go to a Little Alien, but that's a different way. I think it's Rachel, Nevada. Then, and then, then heading east to see my daughter. Going to Cincinnati, Cincinnati, WKRP. What's that other one? Where's Drew Carey? We love it. Is he in Ohio? Anyway, going to Cincinnati, or as my daughter calls it, the Nasty Natty. Woo. I said anything nasty, sign me up for it. Twice. <laughs> That's the plan out of here. I just have to tie up my loose ends. It's funny. I mean, I'm 56 years old. I've been in this town since 87. You got a lot of things that you got to finish up here, you know, and I'm waiting for stuff to come in the mail so I could do that stuff. Oh, got an itch. It's a nice breeze outside, and I don't really feel like moving the coach because to tell you the truth, it's freaking level as hell. Everything, knock wood, is working really well. I like where it is. I'm up far where I'm in the shade until like around noon and I kind of feel like walking. I'm really getting cabin fever in here. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm oh, getting claustrophobic, but can't leave Shifty alone. He's got terrible separation anxiety. But I did leave him alone last night and I went to Sam's Town for a little bit. I played bingo. <laughs> Nine o'clock bingo. I didn't do anything. Then I went down and I played a machine and that took uh, 20 bucks like this. <laughs> Remember how Shifty eats pepperoni? <laughs> Just took my 20 bucks, didn't even kiss me. I came home, he was sitting on the couch, very comfortable, like this, with his paws. I had the TV on and I had the air conditioner on, so I think it might have something to do with being hearing voices. As long as he hears voices, he's okay. My little Shifterini, he's underneath the, the dinette. Here's, here's a downer thing. I still have my solar panels in the bedroom sitting there because now I don't think that Nick wants to, to put them up with me, for me. I would pay him for it, but I am going to go see him tomorrow to bring over the fire stick so that he can jailbreak it for my daughter, which means that you, you, you just break the code so that the fire stick can get every single channel in the world we'll see every movie ever made so, little lillian little lillian 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 oh oh i've fallen down the steps ha <laughs> oh, bunny fell down the steps <laughs> i know you seven i know you seven but you be a seven year old no home walking the dog mother mm. <laughs> what's that from lillian 
<laughs> me and Shift are gonna get out of here. Like I said, I don't have anybody to do my do my solar panels now. I asked the guy Chuck, who's a couple uh, RVs down, because he has he fabricated some kind of a thing where he puts his kids are running over here. I don't know if they're gonna come over here. There they go. Bye, kids. He told me that he's sickly. He told me to ask Matt next door. Uh, I'll ask Matt. I'll ask Matt if it looks like that he could help me and fabricate it and if it looks like it'll last. I talked to Affordable RV today who said that they would do it, but they would put it on my roof. I said, yeah, that'd be good, except that my batteries are all the way in the front. And for you to put the wire down through my refrigerator, that's a long friggin' way. It's not going to charge efficiently. If anything, I put them up here and then make a hole and come down through there. And they really wanted them on the side. Anyway, they said that you'd have to find a stud, and that's impossible to do. Well, I have a stud finder, you know, so I don't think it's not impossible, you know. That's why they make stud finders. It's not impossible finders. They're stud finders. <laughs> but if, if, if studs were impossible to find, then people would make stud finders and have disclaimers on and say, don't bother because it's impossible to find a stud. But thank you for your 20 bucks in buying our device. Don't listen to everything you hear and only half of what you see. Don't believe anything you hear? Ah, you know, take it with a grain of salt, even if it's coming from a professional. You know, like my radiator thing. I told you, after the case is over, I'm going to put it up on YouTube, the video that I took of Randy, and you guys can judge for yourself, okay? Oh, God, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of flack and stuff about that, but... I don't live a cotton candy life. <laughs> Do you? You know what? If I were only to come on here and put all the great things that happened to me, wouldn't people be tuning in and go, oh my God, everybody's got such a great life except me. My life sucks. Oh, Shelly's life is great 24 seven. You see 13 minutes of good stuff for my day. Maybe all the rest are really sucky. Maybe the rest of my day I spend knee-deep in steaming hot shit. But I will be discriminating in what I put on here. And you know what else? I'll be discriminating in what I do. But I do have to tell you something. I would like you to meet my security guards up at my Walmart where I've been going for over 10 years who I know personally. I know Ron, I know Leland, and then there's, then there's Ray. Ray. I call him the unshopper. Ray is the guy who goes around in the shopping cart and picks up all the things on aisle three that we brought from aisle 14 and don't put back. Yeah, and then he puts them back, okay? So I used to go in to Walmart all the time and I saw this big, big black man, this big older black man pushing a shopping cart and he used to be doing that. I'd be like, hey, you're the Walmart unshopper. Maybe. Okay, so I used to see him all the time. I'd be like, hi, hi, unshopper. How are you? So one day I Ooh. walked in and I just kind of smiled because I figured maybe I was just annoying him, you know. And, you know, maybe maybe he hates his job so much that me even saying something was hurting his feelings, you know. So I walked in one day and I saw him and I just smiled. And he... I'm on shopping. I said, yeah, you are. <laughs> Ever since then, me and Ray are like this. We talk all the time. I'm like, hey, Ray, what you doing? On shopping. I'm on shopping. Then one day I walked in there and Ray is not on shopping. Ray is now mopping. This is an older man. Okay, I would say he's in his 60s, but he's big. He's, you know, he's a, he looks like a strong man, but he's, he's mopping. I'm like, Ray, what's going on? They just got you there temporarily. I don't know. Mopping. I go in the next day, Ray's mopping. And he's still mopping all the time. And to add insult to injury, I go to the produce aisle and I look and who's unshopping? Some bouncy teenager, you know, with all the energy in the world. Whoop, whoop, whoop. He's unshopping. Instead of, 
holding him up because he's got all the energy to do it. I saw a bunch of suits. I'm like, hey, can I ask you a question? How come you have this bouncy teenager over here pushing a little shopping cart and I'm shopping, doo -doo -doo, and you got old man Ray over here pushing a mop? I mean, breaking his back. You know what I mean? I mean, you look at him, okay, okay, well, you know what? Well, we'll get five more years out of Ray. You know what? You'll get like 15 more years out of Ray if you take him off of the mopping and do the right thing, put him back on the yard shopping. I said, you know what? Don't think that you're your customers don't watch what you're doing and think some of those things are disgusting i can see over at the deli you're down to two people where you used to have four and i'm waiting that's one thing but you have gypsy and kim over there working their butts off for the same amount of money that you paid them when there was four people there went back and forth back and forth several times corporate called me and we spoke and tell my viewers on youtube how you know me you know, even though you're one of the best customers that I have, and you call corporate on the way, because of the way they was treated, they tricking me and everything. Cause it took what? three days. Oh, it took more than three days. It took how many times I had to call them, and they well, lied to me. I don't know me. how many times, but I know that Wednesday, Friday, I was back doing what I normally do. And they had you scrubbing floors and stuff? Oh, yeah. And now you're doing what? I shop. Everybody else shop, I shop. There you go, Ray! <laughs> Thanks! See you later! <laughs> Ray is now unshopping again. And every time he sees me, he's like, I know I got the Lord and you on my side. I'm like, I don't know, Ray, about the Lord, but you got me for sure. They didn't know at Walmart, Ray was in Vietnam. Ray has a purple heart. He saved people. Everybody's got a beautiful story and Ray is just a beautiful guy. Anyway, so I just want to tell you that, that people who might cross my path and make me mean or, you know, challenge me in a way that I don't think is fair, they're going to not see a good side of me. Talk to the people who have known me for 10 years consistently, who see me all the time. Maybe those are the people that we want to gauge our, ourselves by, you know, our personalities and stuff. You know, my friend Denise, who has been my, my bestie since I was 20 years old. Elise, who I've known since I was, what, 25 years old. That guy at Walmart was an asshole! Those are the people who we should look to when we want to know uh, uh, who a person is, you know? And I mean, like, you know, you go and you apply for a job. You know here that if you apply for a job in a casino, they run your credit? You can't get a job here in a casino if you got bad credit. I guess they don't want you around the money and stuff, but that doesn't make sense to me because somebody who's got a really low FICO, what does that say about a person? That they ain't stealing from anybody to pay their bills. I would look at the guy with the 740 score like, come in here for a job because you don't have one? Where are you getting all that money? Hey, wait a minute. See what I'm saying? They check my credit, they wind up standing in a corner laughing to each other. Look at this Goodwill Salvation Army. <laughs> she can't even pay off secondhand stuff. <laughs> she wants to work here? What is she, a friggin' comedian? <laughs> See, there goes Ray, my own shopper. He's unshopping.